Hi boys and girls, I want to show you the next step of the project. So after you've started to make your pieces of fabric, what you can do, this is a tracing method. So what you can do is you can lay your pieces of paper on top, and this one I started to cut out, and I held this up to a window, and then I traced over it, and I got my shape of this right here. So you're going to take your paper that you've made, lay it on top, over a window or a TV screen and you'll be able to see through it. You can even use a light on like a flashlight on a t on a phone if you have one or even just an actual flashlight. And you're going to cut this out. Some people even have a fancy thing called a light box if you have something like that. That works. That's an art material that you possibly would have, but I just used a window. So then what you're going to do, you have all these pieces like a puzzle or like a quilt. I want you to pay attention to the biggest pieces first. So this right here is one of my bigger pieces. So I'm going to put the face down first. So think about like a house. If you were going to build a house, you would put the floor or the walls first before you would add windows or doors or furniture. So it's like the same thing. You're going to be gluing down your bigger shapes first and then you'll add your little shapes next. And don't worry about exactly lining them up underneath, um, unless for you that's really important. You could hold it up to the light um, or keep flipping it up and down. But for this one, I kind of know exactly where to put them. And I can kind of scoot them around because I'm using liquid glue. So I'll put my little pieces of the eye on the inside. Whoop. And again, I can kind of squish it around to get it just where I need. And I only have a few more pieces left. So remember when I talked about making your whole drawing out of simple shapes, part of the reason why is so that once we start piecing it together, it was easier to cut out the pieces and start to get them all glued down. So I made these with crayons, I made this pattern with crayon and colored pencil and I made these with markers and you'll notice for the background on this one I just did marker. You can glue all your pieces down onto a really colorful piece of paper if you'd like or you could have created a whole background that was quilted but one way is just to create a design with markers. Now the next step when we're all done with this and it's all dry, you are going to be able to add some details. Some of the details that you might wanna add for this especially would be the mouth. If you wanna create it like a stitch line, you can actually make little marks like that. So I'm just showing you two different ways. And then on top of all of your pieces, you can start to add stitch doodles just like Bisa Butler did. So you can even add more designs on top of your piece if that's something that you're interested in doing. Remember, you are the artist of your artwork. So if you would like to do this, you can, but you certainly don't have to. It's just if you're noticing that maybe you need just a little bit more, you can start to add. And take a look, I'm making little dashed lines because I'm trying to make it look a little bit more like stitches. And I'm going a little faster. Remember, a lot of times when I'm making my videos, I have my cheetah feet on, but you can have your turtle shell on and go a little slower. Okay. So, you're tracing, you're cutting, gluing our bigger pieces down first, then adding the details on top. When it dries, you can start to add your stitch lines. And as always, enjoy and stay creative.